This is Dover, England, a key asset to the Allies during the Second World War and a primary target of the Axis powers. Defending the port and the associated hills was a complex task and many differing structures were re-engineered or new designs built from scratch by the War Office. How amazing is that? So what are these then, Chris? So you've got a railway line where you had to cross channel guns over that side and over this side. They were fed. A little, for train, a, for a little train came around, dropped the ammo off, probably picked the engine up. Oh, the down the track. Track. We are on a journey supported by the National Trust to look at the remains of a 15 inch Allied gun battery and the heavy anti aircraft system that was there to protect it. Hello and welcome to ALW Research Team. I'm in Dover with IKS Exploration folks. Holy Jesus. And we're going to the One Stone AA battery. So where are we then Tom? We are here. You are here. So obviously they're gonna make this big field into parking. Obviously the AA battery's all over here. Would have been nice if they showed it on the map, yeah. but they haven't. Um, you've got the fan bay shelter, which is another deep shelter, and you've also got the sound mirrors over there as well. Uh, which many years ago it was all buried. Um, I've seen some pictures and that, and you can have a look. And they've dug it all out. National Trust dug it all out, so you can go down there. I think it's ten pound or so. You can go into the shelter that they dug out, and also see the sound mirrors in the cliff. Yeah, that's good. They've done a good job. Um, but obviously, so many people come in. Obviously, you've got the little lay-by where we parked up here. It's yeah. not ideal. It's not ideal. You've got the main National Trust site up here, and obviously, it is a long old walk. So obviously, some people. Probably come down here. Oh, be nice. Good idea. Buildings are yeah, up here, and you can see some of the rubble. Up here, there's all sorts up here. Nissan huts. And... That rubble straight in front of you is the road. Oh yeah, that's it. So the road continued. Yeah. It did over yeah. the field, but obviously needed it. Return um, back to farming. Yeah. And the other side is the rest of it. Oh, I can see the classic barbed wire. No, I was going to say that because that's the original AA battery fence. Wow. Wow. World War II barbed wire fence in there, or the, the stanchions for it. I love this site. There's, so, there's just oh, something about this. I just yeah. love this. You get places like that in Airbrex, so you, you enjoy going back to them time and time again. Yeah. It's, it's the IKS is, camera. A few inches later. Here's what would have joined up with where we were yeah. when we walked across. So originally it went straight across in that direction. Straight across there. Yeah, so that was the road over there. And then it came all the way across here. Oh, it's just going to be a car park again. Keep rolling. Yeah. Keep rolling. And that is part of the old road. Yeah. That must have done some breaking up and. Just yeah. the sheer amount of concrete gone into building. Yeah. Hold it in. Time up on top. So we're going to have a look at this heavy anti-aircraft yeah, yeah. artillery battery. One stone AA. Yeah. Oh, so that was a was that a searchlight position? Oh, that might have been actually. The base for a searchlight. I think so. Pointing upwards. Yeah, because this is like magazines in a HQ, I think. Yeah. This might be the command. Yes, I think this was the headquarters, command's headquarters. Yeah. So that would have been possibly for a machine gun or something. Got no answers really for this place, have you, Chris? No, I'm just trying to pitch pitch it together. Take only photos, leave only footprints. Yeah. Please respect this place and the memory of those who served here. We shall do that. Indeed. What, one thing to say, they have replaced these doors. Haven't they? A lot of the doors they've had them remade, like they were. Yeah. You know these, are, these are re reproductions. But that is a really good. I think they've gone all out on it. Haven't yeah. They? We really looked at the ones down the other bit. 
and uh, you can see the bit. They're the same, they, they all look like they used to. That's brass, I think you said it's brass. 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 That's nice of them to do that because yeah. it's very easy to just put the sort of galve sheets on everything yeah. mm. and it sort of spoils what we're looking at. Yeah. What do you think? It's been there, the old one lasted like 70 plus years. Now yeah. it's looked after probably another 100 years out of another door, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's. This was possibly a generator plinth. Yeah, I looked at them, two generators. Do you reckon? We're outside so. though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a coal bunker. It reminds me of the coal bunker at my council house. Oh, right. Where I grew up. Yeah. This is interesting. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. This was a Ooh. shelter. Oh wow! The yeah. Just corroded. Yeah. So it would have been down, and then and the upper end come out. Collapsed yeah. in, yeah. But yeah it's got like a blast wall arrangement oh, yeah. there. Yeah, that's like an old Anderson type yeah. over there. Yeah. I remember yeah. these before they completely collapse and you could actually go into them. Yeah, these have been nice re restored. You get some new yeah. elephant steel. Yeah. yeah. And pull all the mess out. Yeah, it it's restorable. It? it is. Yeah, you can almost see the curvature on there where the steel was. Have they? Yeah. They do a lot of work up there as well. Yeah. Another local battery trust, they've got you, they're putting Nissan huts back. Yeah. They're building them back up there as they were. Well, well done to those people. The position with the gun blocks. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Better find some uh, artifacts in the old battery. Yeah. This yeah. was a. I need to ask the experts. In that central position, would have been. What would be in the middle one with the seals? You know, the rubber seals or the. What explosive would be in there? Would they have phosphorus rounds, maybe? The, the middle, middle one with the seals? Okay. Oh, see, these, these outer two don't. Yeah, and that one's got additional seals, seals on it. I don't know what explosives they would have used to... No, they would what would have been needed been... Tracer, the phosphorus rounds. Okay, so it would have been. So, if... Because that's been if, modified. If the gun crew see a target, yeah. what the others can't see is say, watch my shot. They'll fire a tracer off at the target and all the others can see where he's aiming. Oh, okay. I used to I used to operate yeah. both of anti-aircraft guns, the first squadron I was on, and that's what we used to do. We used to fire tracer for effect. And then, you, and then, every, then everyone like, everybody knows. Marks the spots. Then everyone's like that's bang, it. Bang, bang, bang 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 bang. Yeah. Ah. Wow. So that's interesting. The both of 4070s used to fire, and they're fairly light light shell, four rounds a second. Wow. You know. Yeah. Yeah. This likely had Vickers. The Vickers QF 3.7 inch anti-aircraft gun was Britain's primary heavy anti-aircraft gun during the Second World War. It was roughly the equivalent of the German Flak 88 and the American 90mm, but with a slightly larger calibre of 3.7 inches, approximately 94mm. Production began in 1937 and it was used throughout World War II in all theatres except the Eastern Front. They call them a QF, it's a quick firing gun. And they were a breech loading gun. And as Dave's rightly said, this magazine here that Tom found has been modified because it's got an additional door seal and then it's been bricked up inside. And sort of bricked it differently. You see that Dave? Yeah. Sort of different, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, it's it's a, got an extra lining in. Yeah. yeah. An afterthought modification. It's got. Oh, invented. Yeah. Invents. Yeah. No, they're just. Uh, yeah. This would have just been for brass shells. Yeah. And that's mm. what it's for. Keep that ammunition separate because yeah. it's not something you use. Use well, and you no. want it. You want it to be kept in, I guess, conditions yeah, where it's more volatile than ordinary ammo. Yeah. You see? Oh. Yeah. Well, so. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Exploring Dave to the rescue. Off the experts. Yeah. That's the event. Yeah, it is quite a modification that. And then the guns, the gun centre would have been about here, and here we are. That is one of the mounts. There would have been a row of those round here in a circle, and that's where the Vickers QF gun would have been. Well, they clip one out. 
Do you think the metal bracket, so there's one over there, I think it'll be a sort of gate. Yeah. Do you think it'll be a gate? Puffin one is what we're saying, yeah. There's a big magazine in here. So it'll be a store magazine store. Yeah. Whereas in the in the um, anti-aircraft position there, like ready use lockers. I think these as well, these magazines were mainly for um, the big guns like uh, Clem and Jane, the massive yep. guns. I don't know if they stored anti-aircraft uh, ammunition in there, I'm not sure. Ah right, so the larger, the, big guns. See the, the larger calibre. Yeah, the position's here. Uh, and John from the National Trust is going to unlock it for us. So we can see the National Trust there. Now, is that another big magazine? Look at that! Two either side there, one over there, one here, and then you had the gun in front of us, which we'll see in a second. Because this is crazy, they, they recently dug all this out, because this obviously was just buried. Oh, was it? Yeah, so there was, yeah, was two huts on here? So this was the, just the crew shelter. Right. This yeah. was sort of buried up to this this height, and then we excavated it a few years back. And all of these banks, the buns, they'd all been pushed in, and this was a field. But yeah, we wanted to see whether the Nissan hut bases were still here. That's a lintel of one of the the Nissans that were, was here. Wow. Is the plan to add Nissan huts back? I saw up at Capel they've added, they've actually bought some Nissan huts and they're doing it up there. Are you going to do this likely down here? Yeah. Yeah, the next few years or so, I'll just about open it up Scope a bit more, out, start, yeah. start talking about it, you know, mm. talk to people about funding and stuff. Is there any more plans to do down Fan Bay or any, is there anything over that area? Or? Yeah, yeah, so in this project we're going to in place and um, excavate emplacement three, so one of the magazines there will be open. Uh, and then the rooms in the back, there was a gun store, officer's shelter on one side, crew shelter on the other. So, so yeah. Yeah, it keeps me busy. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah. I'll just stop for a sec. Shelter. Um, crew shelter, most of the buildings, they're all designed to be splinter proof, so... Benny! No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they've all got like a concrete core in it um, and if you look everything on once has got green roof green roof facing the sea yep. and it was built slightly after Fan Bay but they learnt a lesson at Fan Bay originally there they wanted everyone to live underground but you had two lower entrances there and they had this big condensation issue within a year so then they ended up evacuating all the troops up onto the surface and then Fan Bay became more like a, a bomb shelter right. air raid shelter um, and that's why the Wonstead deep shelter is so small because they just spec the buildings to be splinter proof well, so it'll right. change but yeah, come, yeah. come have a look excellent let's go in You know, there's, there's some of these at Spain Point, can you remember them? So we're just inside what we think is a gun store, do we say, Dave? Yeah, I think this was probably the, the control room, because uh, there's two entrances, one that side, one that side, and they go out to what looked to be the gun pit. And it was buried, so what, here, in yeah, sand? Yeah, do you remember it? Back there, we yeah, we were digging that out as well, they? Yeah. Tide times. Yeah, tide times, yeah. She can call out. I think the sand was about here. I'm sure it was the same sort of yeah. layout as this. But it's amazing to see one in such good condition. So, historically, I mean, when the, the, the farmer who had it before, um, people were always a bit wary about coming down, but then when the trust got it, loads of people started coming down really quickly. There were loads of problems with vandalism. So, the buildings are in best condition. 
we sort of uh, concentrated on putting doors and shutters on yeah. as quickly as we could, to, more to preserve the interior rather than anything else. But as I say, they're all, each one has to be handmade, and then it's done to match what was there originally. Yeah, yeah you've done a fantastic job of that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Also, in the process, so all the buildings have got um, ventilators on the top. Yeah. So, originally they would have these Howard ventilators, a little bit more intricate than, than, than these, but you just can't get Howards anymore. So that's a fair, you know, that's that's pretty close. Yeah. So we put those on. That waterproofs and it gives a bit of ventilation, stops the condensation and so on as well. So check out the National Trust, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Well, Something. hopefully, all being well, the project will start in June, and then we'll have a project blog up, and then we'll start, you know, uh, putting loads of information out. And there's big opportunity for people want to come and help when we're digging stuff out. Yeah. People are more than welcome to come along. I'll put a link to the National Trust in the description box, so check them out. So doing brilliant work here, <coughs> preserving history. Indeed. Yeah, the original oh, yeah. coat hooks there. That's definitely good timing. Yeah, yeah. 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 There we go. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Yeah. Good. And this is the other end of the railway, where they drop the munitions off, is it? Yeah, it's all, part, it's all part of it. You had two lines this side, and you had two lines, I think, on the other side. Did wow. They the extra shells one side? Yeah, there's another railway line over yeah. there. Um, under yeah. the two yeah. railway lines down there. there. So wow. I, I think we worked out that they came in on one, and they probably took the empty shells back. Yeah. Right. Well, it was like a that. continuous bombardment of yeah. Dover, wasn't it? So this was to was this to bombard back? Did this reach France? I think it possibly did this one. Looks pretty big, sure. doesn't it? It's a big, big gun. I mean, this, this was at the water a few years back. But we came down there and realised they'd been digging. This is what they dug out. And yeah. We listening to the conversation, doing this much, told them how much they had to dig out, didn't he say? Because mm. I, I gave an indication. It gave you an indication of how much work they've got to do. Yeah. Yeah. And all this is done by volunteers. Yeah. Can I go in there or will he sort of kick off? They did have a digger. It wasn't just what happened. Not mechanically done, no, not manually done, mechanically done. Yeah. So that is some of the old iron work Look of the, the size gun. Of them bolts. That's huge, isn't it? If I put my hand next to it. That's massive. Them bolts. Oh, don't want to fall in there, folks. <laughs> so that will be like a like the like a shape of a D. Yeah. Come around then come back this way. Yeah, because that's the altar there. Yeah. Don't go backwards. <laughs> that's wrong there. You realise how deep it is around the bottom here? Yeah, so all this was just like lumped in? Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's got the shape. There, it's like didn't shaped. I think, I, I, when I took the pictures, didn't like the back part of the gun was down there, wasn't yeah. it? The bit that was it? it moved, I think. Yeah, I right. No. We'll, put, we'll put a picture of the... There is there's pictures. Trying, there is pictures. Put a picture of the gun. I think there's a gun. video of the actual <laughs> Wow, yeah, I'll try and put a link to that in the description box below. Well, yeah, I suppose when it was dug, they piled cool. all the soil around the outside to sort of camouflage it a bit. Yeah. When they finished, it all just went back in. Just lumped it all in. Yeah. That's such a shame, but, you know, it is what it is. The National Trust are digging all this out again. Here are some pictures sent to be by the National Trust. This is them excavating the gun pit, and now Jane's gun pit is completely cleared and in the state shown here. Let's have a look down here, viewers. So going this way, that looks like a ready-use locker there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, no. The drainage trough there. I was saying today, that that something to do, I think these posts were something to do with camouflage, nesting. Yeah. I don't know if we might speak to John, maybe. He might say, clarify that. Yeah, we'll get some clarification on it, but I think that would ring right it wouldn't have had a roof on it because it'd be too big but the camera net it up and they look like uh, M&E stores and little shelters Shelter for people there, yeah. probably generator there or electric yeah or yeah and the, the, it's got the hooks see the hooks and the bits that's for camera netting as well mm. it's not net it all up here, is it? it's, uh... it's in very good condition yes that is a good point I think it's because it's so remote it hasn't been smashed up yeah. 
to the farmers. In town more, all those hooks and that probably bent off and snapped off to get 2p scrap value. Christian's just found this, the concrete. It's now we're 120. I can't see what it says below it. Sif. Todd. T. Top Sif. But the actual pintle pit is slightly off to an angle. Right. And that's the same for, for Clems. They're more directed to things that are within closer range within France. Right. Doesn't look much, but I suppose over yeah, yeah. 24 miles. You have initiated, what's the pintle pit? That, so the pintle's where the gun sat in the, in, in, in the middle. Okay, so. right, right, right. Which right. is there. Reinforcement bars that are going right out past where those gates are to hold everything in place, yeah. and everything's cast around it. But um, the guns are cut up in '57, mm -hmm. and I mean it looks like they did quite a good job because they've cut oh, everything kid. out from oh, the, that to you know recoup as much metal as possible. Yeah, yeah. So there is the potential for some archaeology in the bottom. Wow. Mm. Those tower things, what were they for the netting to camouflage? Yeah. Oh, right. The weird thing though is, again, if you look at the construction photos, they're three times as high, but almost immediately it's like they've been knocked down, so sliced them off. I don't know whether it was to do with wind or something like that. Right. Um, that, one. that one's gone completely, isn't it? Completely gone. And these little pit uh, holes, recesses, they are already used. Right. Uh, for the 15 inch shells. Again, if you look in the photo, there are shells lying around all over the place, which is not not what you do on a battleship. <laughs> no. no. And then the two buildings nearest to us, they're the compressor rooms. So you would reset the gun, clear out the barrel using compressed air. Yep. So actually that's the most, the roof there is So if you knock that out, such a high level of protection and then the building at the far end is the gun store so that's sort of like the gun workshop back at the gun pencil what we can see here is where the concrete has moulded around the iron and steel work of the base of the gun so John, John from the National Trust is going to let us in to one of the 15 inch shell magazines. Wow. I feel his kid just goes running in. So this is a 15 inch magazine. Okay, wow. The old doors for the magazine are just there on the left behind Ian. Proof tractors, planet tractors, um, and they came from coal mines, anti spark, you know, anti explosion and so on. So they had two of those for each magazine to be able to keep a constant process of shells and charges to the back of the gun. 
And then this bit up here, this is where the, this is the explosive stored part of it. Oh wow, didn't know it went right around here like this as well. Oh. This, this is the cordite store. Cordite? Yeah. Room for cordite? Yeah. Wow. So this would have been full of um, the, the charges. Yeah. The charge bags that were in a sort of a silk bag. And they yeah. had red ends on them. And it was an electronic charge that would ignite it. Right, right. Wow. And they would have been stored in here. Yeah. These were more volatile than the rounds themselves, I believe. Yeah, this is the most protected part of the, the magazine. Yeah. What sort of thickness we got above us then, what do you reckon? Oh, almost the whole of the, the mound is concrete. Oh, wow. If you go up to the top and stick a spade in, you go down 30 centimetres and you're on concrete. We've got the ventilation in the bricks there as well. Full row there and a full row behind Ian. And then. Got the ventilation here to keep the humidity just so. I think we can see the other through that. Yeah, okay, so we've been doing some work to clear those out. Because uh, again, we have a bit of a condensation problem here. In the summer, it gets very wet inside, it draws in warm, moist air that condenses to it. In the winter, now you see it's, it's bone dry. So yeah. this will have ventilators going back on it. You can see this is um, sprayed cork on the vents. So that's to try and cut down the condensation running down there. Oh yeah. It's this sort of coating on the outside of it. Yeah. I've, I've seen that before, but I also thought it was just like corrosion. Yeah, I, mean, I, it was I guess like, it was yeah, yeah. yeah, corrosion on the surface, but it's actually sprayed cork, John's telling me. Yeah. Which is brilliant. Cordite store. Bracket here for something. Do you know how much the cordite charges weighed? How, how much the cordite charges weighed? Because the shells were a ton each. No, I don't know. The pack charge behind. No, uh, no, I only know that they used a double charge in it. Wow. So that to put two charges in. Yeah. Wow. So they have to be very careful about barrel wear. So that's yeah. why you have crown bait is doing the close quarter stuff. South Fall on the 9.2s, so that's really doing the heavy lifting for most things uh, in terms of channel traffic. And then they would have used Wonstone for you know, heavy armour plated cruisers and, and so on. Um, and then Wonstone could be used for counter battery fire as well. Wow. Wow, indeed. That's, it's amazing to see this. That was 1979 when we changed over to missiles. Oh, Monday headcoms. Right. Right. That's a rapier anti-aircraft missile. It's a short range. Oh, yeah, six kilometre range. Are you in that photo? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So we've got a Puma helicopter and a rapier anti-aircraft system behind, and Dave's in there somewhere. Which one are you, Dave? There Classic there Dave. There is. Yeah. <laughs> I still am. I haven't changed much. There we are. <laughs> John, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's amazing. Hillbox over. Yeah, worst side. Here yeah. on these. Like these. Yeah. The slits, they've sealed them up to stop them getting vandalised. But yeah, they're sort of restoring it, but these open. I don't know. Yeah, interesting. That's a different layout, I've not seen that before. No, well, they only be fuel for generators and things. Maybe they have generators in. Protecting this side of the battery. Yeah, I suppose it's anti aircraft to fire it. Aircraft trying to damage that, which is the magazine. Yeah. And John was saying inside, so pretty much everything that you can see there, underneath, just underneath the grass is concrete. Yeah. You know, it isn't just like a big mound of mud. Yeah.
just to armour it. Got keep more the... of these. Oh yeah, more barbed wire. Yeah, all the way around. Wow. This is the back of the command room. That's the emergency exit. And then there was a large shelter here. Sadly, it's all collapsed. And back out here. Oh, there would have been another shelter there, so there's two shelters. You can see the elephant seal there that's all rotted away and caved in. What's that about? Probably. I don't know. Obviously, someone remembering someone. Oh, right, yeah. Remembering the fallen here. Yeah. I don't know if it may be a member of the family. Yeah, possibly. Hello. Hello. I just saw it out the corner of my eye. Hello. Yeah. Lest we forget. I don't know anything on the bath. I just want to say any names or something on them. It's washed away. Lest we forget. Big old mountains, isn't they? Yeah. Yeah, so we can see there where the, where the anti aircraft gun was affixed to the floor in this fixed they could do with putting one back really that'd be nice wouldn't it yeah yeah get a yeah get a make deactivated up, one, one and put really the, put them back david castle probably got one up there haven't they? yeah um, i wonder how many of these vickers actually made during the war loads yeah so that's the end of this video this sums it up folks yeah the weekend is done yeah. so we've done a full weekend with ian and chris and tom and Fez, but Fez is working today. Yeah. So, thanks very much for. No problem, no problem. No problem. There's going to be a lot more videos to come, I think. A lot more explores. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're coming up your way. Yeah. And oh, come down here trip. again and, uh, you know, we can meet maybe you halfway at some point. France. And, yeah, France and yeah. Germany. Bit and of Germany. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, Germany yeah. should be good. So, yeah. yeah. Right. It went well, very good. Very yeah. good um, explore. And thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and check out IKS Exploration. And Facebook, Instagram and all that jazz. All that jazz. Well, jazz. TikTok now, isn't it? Jazz TikTok. <laughs> yeah, TikTok yeah. and Twitter and yeah, <laughs> every social media you got. So. Thanks very much, viewers. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs> Could have waited 30 seconds. Degrees. Sorry, uh -huh. 270 degrees on the wall over there. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that earlier. Yeah. Oh, you did? Outtake, viewers. So. There are the other markings of the gun position firing. South 180. And that's West 270. Oh, I thought that was more modern. Actually. So, Looking 7, there. 8, 9, 10. So, the top would have been there, so north, it's about that way, I think. So, somewhere over there. There's a white line painted on the wall there. Interesting stuff. AA battery. That could have been the end of the arc of fire. You know, you'd, you'd, you'd have had an arc of fire to cover yeah. from, from this gun. Another gun would have had a different arc. Yeah. So and this line here yeah. could have been the arc, as Dave says. That's your sort of your stop. Don't go beyond there. And then there would have been another stop over here somewhere, but that's possibly washed off as that's been more weathered than this side. There we are. I'm going to do my outro now. Try. Sorry. I, I, <laughs> You're alright. That was a little bit of bonus footage after the outro. <laughs> bonus. Thanks to Akes Tom.